Good morning, church. I am sitting here in the parking lot. I just got to church this morning. And as I was driving, something kind of hit me as I was looking at the sunrise driving up Pleasant Valley Road. And I wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement this morning from scripture. I was thinking about the sun and I was also thinking about the moon because the moon has been really beautiful lately. I don't know if you've looked at it in the past few nights, but it's been gorgeous. But in the Bible, I looked up Ecclesiastes because a verse kind of came to my mind this morning as I was driving in. This verse comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 7, and it says, Light is sweet, how pleasant to see a new day dawning. Isn't that beautiful? And then I thought, what other verses talk about the sun? And then I thought about Luke chapter one, verse 78, because Luke is, so I, I looked it up, what other verses talk about the sun? Luke chapter one, that's like Advent stuff, right? So we're getting ready to come into Advent. So I looked up this verse in Luke chapter one, verse 78. It's so awesome to think about this. It says, because of God's tender mercy, the morning light from heaven is about to break upon us. You know, when Luke wrote this and when Solomon wrote Ecclesiastes, they were looking at the same sun that I was looking at this morning on my way here. And they have been looking at the same moon that we've been looking at the last few nights. In Job, Job chapter 25, verse 5, it says, God is more glorious than the moon. He shines brighter than the stars. When that was written, it's the same moon that I saw last night and that you may have seen too. And then I looked at Psalm 136, verses seven through nine. This one is amazing. Listen to this. Give thanks to him who made the heavenly lights. His faithful love endures forever. The sun to rule the day, his faithful love endures forever and the moon and stars to rule the night. His faithful love endures forever. Just like we look at the same sun that the Bible authors, um, those who, the, who wrote down the inspired words of the Holy Spirit, just as they, the same sun they were looking at, the same moon they were looking at when they wrote these words are the same sun and the moon that we see today. And what that reminds me and what that tells me is that God is the same as he was then. The miracles that happen in the Bible, they can still happen today. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He created the sun and the moon, and he's still creating. He's still creating awesomeness in our hearts by the power of his spirit. He's still creating opportunities for us to share his love with others. And his faithful love endures forever. He never changes. So I hope that gives you a little bit of encouragement today. Just look up at the sun and think that's the same sun that the psalmist David wrote about. That's the same sun that they talk about in Ecclesiastes and in the book of Luke at the time when Jesus was about to be born. That is the same sun in the book of Job. Wow. Job is one of the earliest books in the Bible. It's amazing to me to think about that. So I hope that gives you some encouragement today. I hope you have an awesome day. And uh, you always know how much God loves you. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Bye.